Hello, this is Alida and I'm here with Dr. Mike Ivy. And could you tell us uh, some story of a collecting trip? Something exceptional that happened during a trip? Well, on our last trip, uh, this last year, uh, to St. Lucia. It was my first trip in a wheelchair. And at first I thought I wasn't going to be able to do any collecting. I was just going to be able to, to uh, work on the laboratory aspects of things. And the students would load me up in the pickup and haul me out to places. And uh, we eventually got to the point where I was chasing tiger beetles in a wheelchair with a short handle net bending over and it worked! We got them! We got to new records and uh, you know the black light was kind of fun too because you could you know you have a, I have a beer holder on my uh, on my wheelchair and we just sit next to the light sheet and wait for things to come in yeah so uh, and yeah. any exciting things that you found on that trip uh, well what? there was 180 species of beetles known from the island and we found over 800 so there was a lot of exciting things okay. on that yeah. trip um, probably the most exciting was a um, a new genus of, of longhorn beetle that uh, mimics a firefly and um, it was so good of a mimic that the first two specimens that I sorted I sorted as the firefly and then we got to looking at it and uh, really really beautiful bizarre thing out of and no completely unexpected because the longhorn beetles of the lesser Antilles have been revised just recently and so we weren't really expecting to find anything like that and so to, to find that that was pretty that was pretty amazing so if you could choose one uh, family of beetles as your favorite family what would that be well that's like asking you which of your children is your favorite you can't do that it's just, um, could you limit and, and say which are your least favorite? Probably, probably Colodiads. The Colodiad Zephyrid group are probably my favorites. They're uh, they're just so morphologically diverse and weird looking. Yeah, they're kind of crazy looking. Yeah, things. some of the ones from there's there's one group in Madagascar, for instance, that looks like a clump of lichen. Oh. They're all bumpy and. <laughs> and pointy and strange looking and they're just beautiful little animals. So they're they're pretty neat. And do you have any advice for grad students starting their career in entomology? Um, if you're going to do this, you need to look at the fact that there's only a certain number of people who end up with the job that they want. And they have to start from the very beginning to play to win. And that means a lot of work and a lot of dedication, uh, but it's a great, a great thing if you get to where you can do it professionally. It, it, it's just a wonderful life and a wonderful career. But if you're, when you're starting grad school, you have to realize, okay, the next 10 years are going to be nothing but work, and uh, that's that's the way to play to win. And then you get to spend your whole career in it, and it, it's. It's, it's the main thing is to, to go into it to decide this is really what I want and then to really go after it with everything you've got. And just one last thing, uh, what's your general impression of the meeting this year? It's very good. I think uh, President Rice did a great job. I like to see people trying new things in, me in the meetings and uh, a lot of new things. I mean, some things work better than others, but if you don't try them, you don't know which is going to be it. So I, I think it's a great meeting. And you had some honorary mention given to you this year? Um, yes, the Coleoptera Society elected me to uh, honorary membership, which was quite a surprise. Oh, congratulations quite on an that. Honor, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome.